Hey guys, Sages here. So, uh, what you're seeing right now is the Vita screen, at least the startup Vita screen. So, and there's of course the music, but, uh, I was just doing this mostly to test out the quality for this. So I'm, I figured why not do a video, you know, that I can put on YouTube just so you guys can test out, uh, see how the quality looks for this Vita. Uh, this is, this is a direct feed from a capture card. So uh, I just wanted, and it's, it's a little bit harder to do than like, than uh, my uh, 3DS at least. So honestly, it was, it, this is taking a lot of fidgeting with at the moment, but uh, this is the best I could do right now. And I'm still testing it and you know, making sure, but uh, we might do different slides in between here just to show you how different the quality is and transfer modes and things like that. And I want you guys to go through and uh, tell me which you think looks best as we, you know, swap between them and things like that. So, uh, first off and foremost, let's just jump into, uh, some game, uh, go into Soul Sacrifice, why not? Pretty sure this is by Concept, which is, uh, uh, the, ooh, I hope I didn't disable the sound or something. Ah, okay, that was just it transferring over. Anyways, uh, I believe this is done by Concept, who actually is, you know, the company owned by former Mega Man creator Kenji and Fune, I think it is. Uh, Infune, or... God, I hope I didn't butcher that too bad, but, uh, yeah, this is just, just a test to see how well this goes, uh, hopefully nothing looks too bad, but, uh, of course, the resolution for the Vita is a little bit weird, but, you know, we're just gonna jump it right, right in real quick, see how it looks, see how everything works, we'll, go, we'll continue, I guess, I've been playing a little bit, but not too much right away, we're gonna hop in, and then we're gonna... I'm gonna play a bit, we're gonna switch over to another game, and, but, anyways, uh, let's take, let's take a look just to see, of course we have our book here, so let's just, hello sir, good to see you too. Hello. Have you checked for droplets recently? Oh my goodness, already off to a wonderful start, oh, yeah, 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 there, just wipe it away, anyways, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna exchange a transfer mode out here and see. Are you used to the phantom quests now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be switching over to... This is, uh, this is actually interlaced. You can kind of notice it a bit, but we also have de-interlace options. Like this, which of course makes it a little, you know... Oh, he's flying. Anyways, uh... Wonderful game to be doing this with, but, uh... As you can tell, the de-interlacing kind of messes up the motions. We could limit it to, like, 30 frames per second, which you won't really see because... Well, you know... Uh, this this is genuinely a better picture, or at least according to the guide. But uh, honestly, this is a little bit weird. We also have different filters like bilinear, anti sound, you know, and a scope or scope trick or whatever it is. Again, will you stop moving, you stupid book? I swear to God, it's making lots of noise. And of course, there's, then there's no filter, which makes it look a little bit weird. But I usually I like bilinear because it just looks nice. But of course, we can always different. Differentiate that a bit. Uh, interlace might look nicer, but wow, well, good luck, goodness, goodness. But uh, as you can see, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm done with that. That was soul sacrifice. We also, of course, have Uncharted here. Um, in, in case you didn't notice, the blur there is actually from the Vita. It does that itself. It's not anything else, like the blur when it zooms in to load a game, that's actually something from the Vita itself, so. Um, this might be a bit easier to at least look at than Soul Sacrifice, because Soul Sacrifice kind of has that weird menu thing, but, uh, this is Uncharted, I believe. Golden Abyss, I think it's called, uh, spinoff, not done by Naughty Dog, done by, I believe, you know what, I don't know, I think it'll show their logo in a second, but, uh. Of course, there's a game manual. Thank you for that. Uh, Saudi Entertainment. Yeah, blah de blah de blah. Looks pretty good. Now, if we don't have the filtering effect on, it kind of makes the text look a little bit weird. It's mostly something to do with it. Oh, there's Ben Studios. That's right. Okay, so. But they do a decent job. You know, it's 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 pretty normal. Uh, this is, of course, really awkward to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a test earlier just to see how well that would work. Oh my god, that's loud. Um, and it worked decently enough. Like, I, d I mean, I'm still trying to test the quality, of course. Looks a little bit weirder because it's not on an LED screen on my 
well, I don't even know the, uh, you know, the, the screen for the Vita is really nice. But, uh, of course, it blurs the effects and things like that. It makes it look a little bit weird when it's on the computer screen. So, you know, I just want to see how well it goes. And I wanted to see what you guys thought as we tried out decent quality, you know, recording as in direct. I honestly forget how it... Oh, that was really well thought out on my part. Okay, well then. That, wow! That was a little early of a jump, but all right. So I'm gonna just tap the screen, which apparently you can kind of see me doing so on the screen. And you know, that's, this is Uncharted. It's pretty basic. Uh, yeah, there isn't much else to it. It's Uncharted, you climb, you kill people occasionally because of histories, mysteries, I don't freaking know. It was probably aliens knowing the recent Indiana Jones. That's, that's pretty much it. And of course we have Gravity Rush, which is uh, actually something pretty interesting. Unfortunately, playing this game right now, with me at least, is kind of difficult because I have like three wires going into the Vita, and it requires you to like move your Vita around a lot, or at least I think that might be an option I can turn off, but uh, during the tests I did earlier, oof, it was nasty, but uh... Yeah, Sony Intercomputer, you know, Computer Entertainment presents blah de blah de blah So, of course we have different filtering options. I'll just flip through them real quick. As you can tell, there's none, point. But, uh, generally it seems like bilinear is probably the best, but, uh, we're gonna try and continue. I don't know where I was before, so... We'll just hop on in. Again, just doing tests. Not really doing too much with the Vita just yet, but, uh... I really wanted to get Persona 4 Golden, but I can't afford it right now, so... <laughs> I wanted to use that to test. And someone wanted me to do an LP of that, but... That seems like a long game, and I'm not sure if I would want to. Feel free to tell me if you want to see a Persona 4. It might be partially blind, unfortunately. Know the plot! Don't know the game well enough, I... Kind of stopped at Persona 3. Partially because of all the rainbows and the... Grade school... No, not grade school. High school antics, but it looks like a fun game, so I'm definitely going to try that out. Maybe tear away as well, but, uh, unfortunately I can't afford it, so. Wow! Gravity Rush sure does take a while to load. You know what, this is up. Oh yeah, we're already in a tutorial, I forgot about that. This is going to introduce us to the gravity options, which we've already gone through, and I'm just going to skip through them because, well, there's our cat friend. Very helpful cat friend. Very nice, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So be sure to comment on the quality, tell me what you guys think. I'm not gonna be doing this for too long. We're at eight minutes and I don't wanna, yeah, you don't have any superpowers except you do, like that. And unfortunately, I, as you can tell, I can kind of control the gravity by just shifting the PlayStation Vita around, but it's really difficult, or maybe it's just doing that, or, you know, well, it was more the camera angle, I guess. Yeah, meow. But basically, we can now jump and, like, all this other stuff. Well, now we can jump because now it's actually a thing, but, uh. There's the quality for you, friends. Just testing it out to see how well this works. It's very interesting that kid's in trouble, but, uh. Of course, we're not going to help them right now because we need to uh, just peel that away. Anyways, so that was just a test of the Vita that we have at the moment. You might notice a little bit of like differences, but we're going to go through these real quick. Uh, again, this is a different. This is transfer mode that is interlaced. Uh, it ha might have a bit more depth and color, but it also has some problems, as you may notice, with motion, which can be a bit of a downer when it comes down to it. But I don't really notice it too much. There's just a little bit of motion blur, and uh, we can turn on different interlacing th options. Of course, that reduces the frames per second as well, and you can kind of notice that possibly when I actually go through it. And then last but not least, we also have... No interlacing or this weird motion, which kind of degrades the quality, at least to me. So we're going to just switch that back to no interlacing. We're not actually going to... And this is progressive, which means that there's no interlacing. Oh god, we could go into interlacing and progressive all day. But uh, basically, if you've ever seen 720p, that means progressive at the end of it. Or 1080i, that means interlaced. 
Uh, basically, how interlacing and progressive works is a very, very complicated thing, but, uh, your TV before, back in the day, used to, uh, the data used to be so large for a simple image that they would send it in strands, basically little lines that your, your TV would put together. Uh, that was interlacing. And when we moved into progressive or the more digital era, uh, you could kind of tell. I didn't mean to go to that, but, uh... Let's see if we can actually start up my P PlayStation 4 from here. This might be funny to see, but, uh, we're gonna see. Um, searching nearby, turning... Oh, oh okay. Oh, there goes my PlayStation 4. Um, basically with interlacing and progressive, it was something a little bit more awkward. I'm not, I'm kind of summarizing this in a sense, but, uh, progressive makes it so it sends the whole image. It's the whole entire image, um, no interlacing involved. It's a progressive system, and... That means that it doesn't have a lot of the lines, which when you go into a digital format and interlacing with interlacing, it doesn't line up as well. So oftentimes, like you may have noticed on some internet videos or something like that, like of old television shows, uh, this is my PlayStation home screen. This is really awkward. You can kind of tell that, uh, oh, apparently you can pre-order Infinite Second Son. Well, fancy that. <clears throat> of course, there's going to be some dips in quality because, well, this is actually streaming straight to the Vita. And not actually doing anything else. Um, so, you know, it, Progressive is genuinely better, but uh, this one, of course, lacks the depth of vision that comes with it. So we're going to just hop out of here real quick. And we're going to enter standby mode, and we're going to kick us back to the Vita menu. Yes, I know. And we are going to try and peel this away. There we go. Because last time I did that, it glitched out hardcore, but uh, this is pretty much how it works. Um, it's a pretty nice system. It's, you know, we're going to use it for reviews and things like that if there ever is a Vita game released. Or maybe possibly LPs as well. And, uh, you know, just tell me how the quality looks, guys. This was just a test, and uh, I'm going to get back to recording other things right now. So, I'm going to upload this real quick. And I would love to hear your opinions. For now, though, guys... I'm going to hop off. Catch you later. Bye.